Thank you for joining us on Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz and Paul Koretz is back. He, of course, is a member of the Los Angeles City Council and you never know how weather patterns will impact the California region. We've had drought over the last four years. It's likely we will have significant precipitation during this rain season. Um, I'm not sure what to do about it, but you have some tips for us to deal with the impending El Nino. Well, first of all, I would uh, write down the website for Please. El Nino. There's, there's a website, elninola.com. Ah, oh, perfect. Nice and simple. Simple. Um, so you can find some of these tips there and uh, some that I've added myself. Right. Give us some of your favorites. Uh, one thing is make sure your house is ready. Meaning? Fix all your leaks, mm. clean all your gutters. Um, if you can also do things to modify your home, such as add rain barrels or cisterns, mm. the water you capture, not only can you use it later, uh, but you also will take that amount of water out of the system. And how can we use it later safely? Could it be used for bathing, for water consumption, for cleaning? What it's usually used for is just your landscaping. Oh, okay. And oh, so you don't have to use sprinklers that week. Exactly. Maybe. And mm -hmm. even if you've ripped out your lawn, if you have trees, trees absolutely still need to be watered. Right. Um, so this is a way to, to keep water out of the flood right. and then uh, use it for yourself when you need it. More tips. Um, make sure your car is in good shape, including the tires and everything else. So if you need to make an exit, you can. Um, if we have floods, some people will lose their important documents. So put your documents on the cloud or at least email them to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things that we do in, in the case of earthquake supply, make sure you have uh, an emergency backpack kit true. in your car, at home, in your office. Um, have water bottles and if you take medications, be sure you have medications in a place where you can grab them and go or mm -hmm. already have them in your car. Um, sit down with your family, have a plan for where you rejoin mm -hmm. them if your house is flooded and you can't get to it. Have uh, an out-of-state relative that you all can call if you're not able to communicate mm -hmm. directly. Um, don't drive into even a modest looking pool of water. Why should we do that? You're, you're, For some reason, we feel like we should drive right into the water. We'll clean the bottom. Your car can float with as little right. as a foot of water. Really? So what looks like just a little pool and I right. can get through it, that could be right. the, the last you see of your car mm. and you wind up mm. having to climb out a, right. a window right. and swim for it. Um, one thing that people don't think about, uh, we're trying to, in the case of a very severe El Nino, have people not put their trash cans out if it's coming oh. and not leave them out because sometimes the trash cans will tip over and oh. float and block a drain. And well, if you see something like that. a trash can blocking a drain and you can safety, safely remove right. it, do it. If you can't do it safely, call the city. 311? 311, that's <laughs> 3 -1 -1. it. Or 911 if it's a true emergency. Right. Um, and also, uh, I think it's, the most important thing is to remember keep conserving right because if if uh, we have every part of our system flooded and you're flushing your toilets and doing your laundry and doing all the routine things that you might do um, we're going to completely over overtax the system so in a, in a huge El Nino downpour, stop using your own water. It's, it's counterintuitive, but I get what you're saying because then you have too much outflow, both from Mother Nature and from uh, the humans on, on Earth. And I want to thank you for these very important tips. The website, again, is elninola.com, correct? That is it. His name is See, Paul. it's catchy. It's you catchy. It. I remember his name is Paul Koretz. He is a member of the Los Angeles City Council. Stay safe, stay dry. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. Thank you.